Good evening and welcome to Omni Bros Live. <laughs> Why am I? God damn it. <laughs> no, everything should be fine. You're good. Um, Keep going. Good evening and welcome to Omni Bros Live. I thought I heard myself. Right. But I'm Omni Dog. This is Omni Bros Live. Here I am, joined by Gabe's Loves 90s Comics. What up, everybody in the chat? What's up to all my Omni Bros and Omni Sisters? Uh, I hope everybody's ready to go broke tomorrow. <laughs> and Comics Guide 101's Lil. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. And a Regan Geekdom's Geo. Uh, hi, everybody. Happy to be here getting ready to talk about the Omni Bloodbath 2020. Let's do it. Omni Bloodbath. Oh, my God. So that was such an awesome introduction and i i thought i could go right into it and then i heard all this uh <laughs> i thought i heard my voice twice and I screwed it up damn it it was such a good introduction gabe it fits it, it fits us as a group so it's okay <laughs> yeah it. it's, 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 it's not on me bros live it's not on me bros live if things start lining up correctly yeah, well, it's Hall's Previews and Reads. I'm getting my re uh, haul together. Uh, and it's going to go fast for me on the read section because I was, uh, I was um, incredibly disappointed last week in something. And it, it made me sick and, like, physically sick. And I didn't read anything. So we can awful. start wherever you want awful. before the journey to the promised omnibus land of like eight or ten omnis for sale <laughs> along with other craziness and a fifty dollar gift card to give away from instocktrades.com percent off loyalty discounts add an extra two percent to that tonight we're giving away a fifty dollar gift card to some lucky viewer whom I'll choose. I mean, uh, who the random number generator will choose. <laughs> um, and if you order $50 or more worth of books, you get free shipping. That's going to help out with that seven omnibus order you're going to do tomorrow. Free God shipping. Damn. Fabulous customer service. Fabulous packaging. That's in stock trades.com. Nice. Good job. Thank you. This is gonna, this is a killer week, everybody. So stay tuned for all the releases. It's going to be nuts. It's a big week. Yeah, it this is, is the week. This is, been, people... <laughs> this, this, this is like is that week. week when like six movies drop that you want to see. You like, like, God damn, how am I going to pick and choose? This is the week a lot of people have been dreading all summer. Omni broke, and yeah, Omni broke for sure. And this thing's <laughs> kind of got delayed, and times got kind of switched around. So there's a lot more with that landed this week than anticipated. Yeah, on. yeah, exactly. A couple of things got pushed to this week that weren't there. But yeah. um, thanks for the five what? bucks. Five dollars, man. Thank you, MV. We're That's gonna nice. need that to help to help fund our omnibuses uh, purchases this week. Right, I'll I'll read it at a hundred dollars a volume. You pay Man. me to read it. <laughs> Somebody how... asked earlier because I started the, the the stream, not started the stream, but I opened up the room a little bit earlier. Uh, Eric Ramirez, if you're still in the chat, uh, it's a once a month thing. You have to be here live to enter and to win. So every, every month we do, it's always the last episode of the month is the $50 gift card. So it's not always Monday. It hasn't been Monday for a while. Um, yeah. It's usually like, you know, Thursdays or something like that for the most part. But I landed on a Monday, which is awesome. This is a big episode with the $50 gift card. So you have to be here every month and enter every month to do it. Um, and the question about Demon Trilogy is that does not come out till the fourth week in September, whatever that what's, day is. What's the Demon Trilogy? Uh, 23rd, September 23rd. That is uh, three bat books regarding um, 
it's like bride of the demon, son of the demon, best man of the demon, whatever those all those oh. demon books were that Mike Barr was. <laughs> demon of the demon. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so that'll be uh, Wednesday, September twenty third. That uh, the Bat trilogy or uh, Demon trilogy will be out. Anybody seen the Mutant yet? Nope. Nope. Not not really interested, to be honest. No, oh, can I wait. can't wait to see it. It can I mean, wait. I want I want to see Magic, but that's about it. Everything else, I don't care. <laughs> that's why I want to see it. I, I did see Bill and Ted. That's a, that's available on like Apple TV and like Amazon Prime and all that stuff. So I saw. Bill and Ted already. Oh, you did? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? It's cute. It's cute. Oh, okay. I mean, you're not going to walk away with it, like a new perspective on life or anything like that, but... yeah, Like it's, people it's, do it's, on this show? Exactly. Exactly. It's it's worth a watch. It's fun. It's cute. It's, you know, it's charming, but it's not you know, it's, it's not the first movie. The first movie is a goddamn masterpiece. I think the second movie's a damn masterpiece, but I'm not going to argue because the first movie's awesome. Yeah. Beef oven. Mm -hmm. The short dead dude. Right. <laughs> All right. Are we ready to kind of uh, kick this off? Omar says he's restarting his PC, so um, we're in it. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to do halls or reads? Let's do uh, reads. All right, let's do reads. Okay. Jess, you said you had a quickie, right? I had nothing. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I read nothing. <laughs> Told you it was quick. I, yeah, I had to. Uh, Omnicat and I both were sick last week, so we we had to cancel the show. Neither of us got our reading done. Oh no. <laughs> The Omni Nothing Show. Can you can you pull up Tyler Taylor Brown? I'm glad you guys are I'm glad you guys are okay. Being sick right now is scary. Thank you. Yeah, she has sinus problems, and I just had my general health issues. Hopefully, unemployed. <laughs> and you know what? Big shout out to all the 140 people in the chat already. So give us a thumbs up. Uh, give us a, a subscribe. This is your first time here, and our boy Omar. Is it an untimely Omar? To be fair, I, I was on time. It was just my computer needed to update. So, uh, in the words of Hamilton, which I just watched recently over the weekend, uh, I licked my balls. Jess, I, I was on time. Don't remember Did, either of those. Well, then we watched two different versions of Hamilton. <laughs> I think we did. I don't remember that part at all. Oh, oh Jess is sir. Jess Come is going by memory, memory, sir. Jess is going by memory from when those events actually happened, and he was there. But right. I can't wait to just get to, uh, get to the point on his channel where he is reviewing books he reviewed last year, and he thinks he's reviewing them for the first time. That's the moment that I cannot wait for. Or <laughs> Jess is talking about books he talked about last year, completely forgot he forgot about or forgot that he talked about them last year. <laughs> it's coming to that. What's up, guys? We got a big <laughs> freaking, um, I call it the uh, whoop your wallet's ass day this Tuesday. Dude, it's going Tomorrow, down. Man. It's going down this week, dude. So everybody's going to be ready. Um, we taking bets. We taking bets on what 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 sells out or what. Uh, oh, that's what, a good what, question. Let's do it. Yeah, we can, we can do that. It'd be fun. I don't, I don't think like... Um, I, honestly, I don't think it's going to be as bad as people think, like things selling out, because there's just way too much. There's too much yeah. competition. You have eight Omnis, right, I think, if I'm not mistaken? I think so. That's, a, that's, a, that's, that's the first time that's ever happened on a single day. Crazy. This is from IST you're talking about? Well, yeah, IST in, has in eight. General. I think, uh, in general, most people have five. Right. Like Some of, the, some of these have already been uh, released elsewhere. Right. And whether it's, I think, cheap graphic novels, Amazon, I think, even had some already. Um, Local comic shops. Comic yeah. book stores got, yeah. And it's weird because I don't think Diamond got any uh, Morrison 3. Oh, shoot. Uh, Did JMS Volume 2? I thought JMS, it was a repeat, uh, a reprint of JMS Volume 1. No, 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 no. no. It's Volume 2. This is the new one. 
Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Whoever loses the bet has to do a show shirtless. No, Every, no. Everybody yeah. wins no. if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys doing okay? You ready to talk about this? We got we got a lot to talk about. Yep. Did Luis ever pay Jess his hamburger from years ago? <laughs> no. Where is that? I don't even see that. Con- Mr. Um, oh, there it is. Mr. Body Massage. Mr. I was Body. going to, but I was at a... I had a job thing that day when you were down here. I was at work at my previous hell employment. And uh, yeah, that didn't work out that day. Just blame it on COVID. For three years. I would have done it, but COVID. Yeah. (laughs) True graphic novel fan. I just finished literally 15 minutes ago. Mm. The end of uh, Lovecraft Country, the first uh, episode. It was awesome. You liked it? Oh, I loved it. Good deal, man. It was, it was racism and monsters. Oh, yeah, it's Lovecraft, so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good review, man. That's a pretty good <laughs> review of the first episode. Now I'm going to watch it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You had me at racism, but you added <laughs> monsters to Silas. That's like icing on the cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, all those monsters were like, all lives matter. For real, like I've uh, I stopped watching everything because Netflix just dropped Cobra Kai, which was a YouTube Red exclusive for a long time. So I'm mm-hmm. making my family rewatch it with me because that's the kind of father I am. And I'm like, y'all are gonna cry in episode five, just like I am, where everybody gets the hell out of my house. Good man. man. I uh, saw something on uh, BuzzFeed that it's um, Cobra Kai is like the most watched show in America right now. On Netflix, I think it's like you know, it's very trendy. One day it'll be this, and then something will drop. It looks like it's like including everything. Oh, I don't know. You're probably right. I don't know. It was pretty. I mean, it was. A, it was. A, that's the only thing I get notifications from anymore. Is like BuzzFeed. I've turned off. Is that the where you get your news and, from? Yeah. Like the stock so I know about Cobra Kai, but not about the state of the country, and that's on purpose. Oh, okay, good man. Yeah, dude, I love. Cobra Kai. That's a favorite. My favorite TV show I saw last year. It was freaking phenomenal. Uh, yes, Roberto Rodriguez. Of course, I made him watch all three movies. That's right, only three. Because next Karate Kid. Fuck that noise. That's the, that's the, the Hillary the Swank movie. Kid? Or the Hillary, one with, uh, Swank. Hillary Swank. Oh no 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 no! Not the Kung Fu Kid. That's even worse. I don't know. I think I would rather watch the Kung Fu Kid instead of Hillary Swank. My Karate Kid. But anyway, Omnis, it. right? We got Omnis to talk about. What we need to talk about first, real fast. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, it is our Patreon. So everybody in the chat, everybody watching right now, if you're not a part of the Patreon, you're missing out on some of the best Omni Bro live experience. We have a tier that's just tips. If you want to just give us a little bit of cash, just as a thank you, kind of help keep the 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 show on, keep the lights going, and all that kind of fun stuff. You can give us a a dollar all the way up to whatever dollar amount you want to give us. Then we also, now here's the cool part. Here's what you're missing out on is the campfire tier. This is the Omni Bros After Dark Hangout. So five bucks a month gets you into a chat room like this, a private hangout, non-broadcasted, where you can ask us whatever questions you want. You can look at our feet. Uh, it's no holds no. barred Omni Bro after dark. The link to our Patreon is, of course, down below in our uh, description. So if you want to be a part of that, uh, we totally appreciate it. We want to hang out with more folks. We did a couple uh, campfires already where we hung out and watched uh, the new DC fandom trailers, uh, met a lot of cool people already. So that is always open for you so got that out the way now let's talk about how we're going to just take out second mortgages and not put food on our table for a little bit also right drop that like button fools yep get it going all right so jess uh yeah you told us you read nothing we got another five dollar awesome super chat everybody Thank 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 you thank you thank you 
Uh, first time on the chat. That's nice. Glad you Thank all you. stayed positive through this Very time. Much. Not ready for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah you should man, save that $5 right for tomorrow, man. Yeah, bro. We appreciate you giving <laughs> your think. all of us money to give it to us. <laughs> that stuff is no yeah. joke. Ooh. Well, I guess it really depends on what you like, right? It could be somebody that just wants Spider-Man. It could be somebody that's just like, you know, all hey. I want is that Tomb of Dracula Complete Collection Volume 4. And I'm that's out. That five bucks can pay for that $4 UPS shipping to get your books to you quicker through IST. So. That's right. It all works. Right. Any anybody else reading anything? Did y'all you ever get? do the Batman damn thing? Somebody's asking in the <laughs> chat. No, you didn't. Okay. It's like Fight Club. We don't talk like, about that. You guys literally just said you were going to read it, right? Is that what people want? You guys, people want you, you all know, to read them. It will happen when it happens. It, it's gotta be. We talked about it before. It's like trying to herd cats to get all of us together to do something. <laughs> yeah. We're all, so, we're all here right now. Get that Batman Dan book out, and we'll go ahead and Riley. instead of talk about Omni's yeah. coming out Tuesday. We're missing, we're missing Riley. We're missing. I thought we were going to get a couple of the fan girls together for it. I don't know. I can do a woman's voice. I can get high pitch. There you oh, go. Man. Perfect. Even all right, better. everybody. This has turned into a six-hour episode of Omni Bros Live on a Monday. <laughs> Let's get it. I think I got my copy here somewhere. Uh, well, I didn't haul anything, but I did read a, a bunch of manga. But I know the chat doesn't want to hear me talk about manga, so yes, we do. Yes, we do. It's all right. Do it. Do it. <laughs> uh, I I finally caught up with Black Clover and have been loving every single second of it. I, I loved the series when I first started. Then I started watching the anime, and the anime is in filler hell. So I jumped on board with the manga. I recently subscribed to the Shonen Jump app and uh went through everything and it's just firing on all cylinders asta's my boy he's just an amazing protagonist one of my favorite in shonen jump and the series is just fantastic great fights the whole uh demon arc that's going on is just fantastic what else did i read i don't know i probably read other stuff but it's a long show so i'll just leave you with that little uh, nugget of information all right all right, so I'm still going through my Invincible Readathon. I finished uh, Volume Three out of the hardcovers, and I am a little bit more than about halfway down to Volume Four. Still, uh, still going strong. Uh, I've noticed there's some language in here, uh, some terminology that that you know we all kind of used to use in the '90s and early 2000s that you can't we really all use to use. Yes. <laughs> Matt, thanks for the parental advisory, yes. Dad. <laughs> I think yeah, it's funny, like, when that book came out, I don't – things like that, I never yeah. – I remember uh, you brought it up, too, like, when he was talking about his friend and then that big thing that happened – to me, they were just comics. I mean, this is the yeah. way they were written. These, this is the way these particular people talked. Uh, but I remember when I first joined the Omnibus group, how many people had issues with that. Yeah. And I never thought about it because, you know, p different people talk differently. That's just the way comics are written. And, and that was really the sign of the times, too. I mean, I, 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 I've said that stuff all the time, you know? So... Now you got me wondering which exactly what we're talking about, but I'm pretty what sure I've you talking about when he takes his friend out on a ride. Yeah, he takes his friend out for a ride. So words like like using gay thought. or retarded, uh, in in, no. in those times of terminology. Like there's a he's fighting a villain now that was reading I, who speaks like the Hulk, and he goes, "You sound like a retard." And it's like, I, wow, you can't say that today. But back then, that it was, is that it was is it. you're you're absolutely right though. It is really yeah. weird. And the reason I I remember when I I first noticed when. Like things were just changing, and it was this is so weird. But four years ago, uh, License to Drive, the movie dropped on Netflix, mm -hmm. and they changed one line in the movie. Because I had that I, when I was a kid, I had that movie Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. Every movie they were in, I had those movies memorized. And I remember <laughs> one particular scene that I was like, Wait a minute, that is not what that girl said. And I looked it up, and sure enough, Netflix changed it when it was whenever it went to streaming, they changed a particular line because it was just politically incorrect. And I thought that yeah. was really strange that they dubbed another woman's voice from a 1988 movie. And things like that bother me because I like, I, you know, I think things should be kept the way that they are uh, or the way they originally came out. Yeah, it's, it's just it's, the it's product odd. of its I mean, time, man. That's just, I mean, 
but whatever. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah. Hey, man, I know how it is. It's it's just funny what, reading it now, and you go, man, this is perfectly one thousand percent acceptable back in the day. But yeah, now things are kind of changing tides, and I just noticed that while reading Invincible. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's what I've been reading. Anybody else? Batman. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nothing but Batman. That's it. I'm done Batman. with this week, though. Well, I was doing a Batman reading order, so I'm done after this week, and I'm taking. Uh, I'm doing Sandman uh, tomorrow. Absolute Sandman Volume One on Old Reader, New Reader. But, dude, those uh, Absolute Sandmen are disappearing, man. Fuck. I wanted to. Get no, some they, 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 right they'll always be evergreen. They'll yeah, come they back. Will, but it is they'll come back with the black label. They'll, they'll, they'll come back. With, they won't be Vertigo anymore. They'll have the black label logo on it. Yeah, no big deal. Cheers. Um, uh, I read some things. What you got, right, man? Let's 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 uh, I read into that microphone. I read something. I read something. Um, I read <laughs> Deadly Class by Rick Render, Volume Nine. Uh, catches me up to everything that's coming out right now. Uh, he hasn't put out a new issue since uh, I think like March. I need the next issue right away. I think Deadly Class is uh, probably the best thing he's working on right now. It's great. Uh, continues the story of the second year of students uh, interacting with the first year of students. Only in this case, the uh, protagonist from the first year, Marcus, is coming back to the school after leaving through circumstances I'm not going to give away here. And uh, basically, it's the fallout of him coming back and his actions from the previous chapters are starting to kind of hit the fan. It uh, Remender does what Remender does, man. Um if you like a character, chances are after this arc, a lot of them are dead. Um, Remender does that. <laughs> Remender does that. Um, in this volume alone, I would say he probably killed one or two characters each issue, and a lot of them. Wow. Are yeah, he 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 cut the slate a lot in this one, um, and a lot of the characters are characters that you really like and you don't want to see go. Um, a lot of things that he's been building up, especially with one character in particular who he felt betrayed by the rest of the group, I'm being very vague, come to fruition and a huge confrontation happens. I absolutely love Deadly Class. It's so much fun and it continues to be so good. But it's that thing of if you like Deadly Class, you kind of had to get through the first year, which I think is like the first three or four volumes. And then it really gets good when you're introduced to the new kids because the new kids in the second year are far more interesting and far better than um, than the first year class. Um, but if you haven't picked that up for whatever reason, I really recommend you do. Uh, who's the artist on that? Is that um, – I think you're going to – who's got it? It's not, it's not Martin. Uh, what is his name? Oh, uh, if only... uh, Craig. Last name Craig. Uh, Wes? Will, Will, what is it? Wes, yeah. Wes Craig. West Craig, West Craig draws the hell out of that book. It's so good. And he really it's he really captures the time period of what he's going for, which is 19, I think it's like 88, 89 is what um is what they're shooting for and it's he's really just stepped it up for me um in the last volume as far as everything that he's doing on there. Um I also ended up reading I've got my list here. Batman Curse of the White Knight. Uh, Ooh, I, yeah, I, dug, I, I dug the, um, the what was the first one called? Something White Knight. Batman White Knight, I think is what it was called, the first one. Or yeah, it was like just that. called White Knight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I dug White Knight. I thought it was really cool. Um, not as much of a fan of Curse of the White Knight, to be honest with you. The story was just okay for me. The real standout here is Sean Murphy's art. Basically, this ends up dealing with joker who he in the last in the last volume he ran for for mayor or whatever it was of gotham city he ended up winning and he actually ended up turning the city around and what ended up happening was that he started taking pills and he became normal quote unquote normal and he took his persona of jack napier in this volume we end up seeing kind of the once again the fallout of all the events that happened in this in the first volume and joker comes back and he basically He's got a secret to Gotham um, that nobody knows about, and it's kind of like the mystery of what it is. Um, and he recruits Asriel by telling him, hey, this is really what the secret history of Gotham actually is. Asriel comes in, and chaos ensues. It's okay. Um, 
it, it's it's just okay. I like Sean Murphy more as an artist. He's a solid writer. I know he can write because I've seen it in Punk Rock Jesus, and I actually like the first White Knight volume. But this one just really didn't do it too much for me. The standout here really is his art, which is kind of that scratchy pencil stuff that he's got going on with everything that has sharp lines. And he draws a mean looking Asriel. It's really cool. Um, but if you that is a self canceling statement. Huh? <laughs> like if if honestly Jess, my advice you can't deny like, the fact that he's got a cool costume, Jess. <laughs> it's like, all this, despite of how you feel about <laughs> John Paul Valley and the events of Nightfall. Like, yeah, oh, Luis is right. Batman we've ever had. Come on. Well, that's debatable, but Luis <laughs> is right. Like he looks badass, and Sean Murphy's like version of him is so yeah. freaking slick. You can't go wrong with the fiery sword and like the. I love. I love. I love the, I love the suit. I love the suit. Yeah. I love the design that Sean Murphy has. It's pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. It's just I don't care for the story too much on this one. I was kind of. I kind actually kind of found myself a little bored with it. I was like, well, let's just kind of get to it. I kind of know where this is gonna go uh, going. Um, and for the most part. It was okay. It was a solid read, but if I were to tell anybody, to, yeah, if you enjoy the first one, it might be worth a pick up at the library or you know borrow it from somebody else. I don't. Really wow, what a that. review! <laughs> <Borrow Yeah. it. laughs> I, really, I really don't think you need to rush out and buy this one. To be honest with you, uh, three Jokers came out this week by Jeff Johns and Jason Fabach. Is that how you say his name? Um, Fabach, maybe. Fabach. I can never get it right. Yeah. Sounds like uh, a G.I. Joe bad guy when you say it like that. <laughs> or a Mortal Kombat villain. I don't I, I was corrected on my show and I don't know either. I think I'm wrong all the time, so I'm not even gonna bother. Uh the first issue came out for three jokers. I I know Riley was kind of lukewarm on it. I absolutely loved it. I, I dug this. I, I think it's Jeff Johns really just firing on all cylinders with Jason Fabok firing on all cylinders. If I pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. I dug the absolute hell out of this. They've been building this up for a, for a while. Like, what is the mystery of the three Jokers? Is there really three Jokers? And we're starting to get kind of answers to it. Dude, so it has been burning. Huh? What? It's been going on since Rebirth. That was like, that was, yeah. that was the start of Rebirth, the three Jokers. Yeah, yeah. It's been going on since he Even sat in the, uh, Midas, in the Midas chair. That's That was the big reveal of him sitting in the yeah. Midas chair that there were three Jokers. Um, it's fucking great, man. It's really, really good. We finally get the moment that I've been waiting for for years. And we finally, I don't even want to give away the ending of it. Uh, I, I loved it. I absolutely love the ending of three jokers, the first issue. And I want more right now. Jason, Jason for Holy shit, man. He's got kind of like a Brian Boland style in the, in these issues. Yeah, he does really well. It looks great. He really mimics his style very well. Uh, and two more. Uh, Thor number six, I waxed on yesterday poetically about Donny Cates, so I won't get into too much detail. But if you haven't picked up Thor number six, you absolutely should. You should be reading Donny Cates' Thor run. And that's that's all I'm going to say for Donny Cates' Thor because I'm a broken record at this point. Last on my list, uh, the l- newest chapters of My Hero Academia came out, which we finally get the confrontation between Shigaraki and pretty much every all of the heroes in this war arc and holy fuck did it deliver wow did it fucking deliver it is everything that this thing has been building up to be and i absolutely love the last two issues ayazawa comes through in the clutch and it was badass i loved these last two chapters man i was starting to get a little bit stale on it and I was really, really hoping that they would eventually just get to the point. And Jesus, did they did he knock these last two issues out of the park? And that's it. Nice. Very nice. Awesome, man. Dude, I, I'm ready for that three Joker stuff. I'm ready for it. All right. So, Halls? We ready for Halls? Oh, my God. Look at this. I can move my camera Wait, around. Did, uh, did, <laughs> did Look at Mark that. say what he read? Me? Omar, did you say what you ran? Batman. Yeah, nothing but a bunch of Batman stuff and uh, oh, oh, absolute, oh. absolute Sandman, and then oh, uh, okay. just a little bit of manga. And okay. I, I'm an right. idiot. I rebought the Deadly Hands of Kung Fu Omnis again, and started <laughs> started reading those. 
<laughs> I FOMO'd myself. Uh, <laughs> I, I understand that. All right. Yeah, I figured if anybody would, you would. What'd you read, Ben? I read nothing. You read nothing. You've been out. You were, were you sick last week or? Yeah. I wasn't yeah. feeling well for like four out of the five days and neither was Kristen. I was telling these guys. And so we didn't even have a show on Saturday. Neither one of us got our reading homework done. Oh man, it happens. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. I yeah, really do sure. appreciate it. Gabe, what did you read, buddy? Uh, Invincible. Remember we were talking about the gay and retard stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I do now. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good, um, man. We were all tired, man. We've all, we were all gone through it. It's been a rough. It's been a rough two uh, couple of weeks for me. What about you, Gio? Did you uh, say yeah. what you read? I yeah, I, yeah you did. Uh, well, fuck uh, me then. All right, next. Oh. Let's let's do the halls. <laughs> 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 I'm not even drinking. <laughs> uh, let's do halls. But I am. Good man. What did you I guys did haul? Uh, Jess has a goddamn like wheelbarrow of stuff. So let's well, does he, it. is it twenty? Is this twenty eighteen Jess again? Twenty sixteen, yeah. Twenty sixteen Jess. Quarantine Jess on in his ball yeah. machine. <laughs> you guys, I just re- I just remember his video of like I'm I'm not gonna buy as much stuff as I used to. Oh, is that the budget video? The budget <laughs> video, right? I told you, man. Those videos come back to haunt us. <laughs> you, uh, Somebody will always remind you. For everybody in the chat, you might as well just pull up a chair, pour yourself a nice drink or something, because it's going to be a <laughs> It's really not that big. Do you need a stretch before you reach down there and get your stack? I um, I actually uh, I separated <laughs> out some stuff I had already shared, so <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> 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 so what you got a couple books with you then what do you got First, yep thank you i got uh finally Ooh. Ooh. my most recent pop and i also got a fairly not really large but a reasonably sized stuffed one that sits in my car next to me like in the show how so that you can go into the, the uh, That's cute, man. That's cute. Yeah. So I've always got the child with me. Somebody's going to jack that when you leave it in the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> and I got uh, Rogue from um, Pyro and Rogue. Um, a guy in the Omnibus group, I think his name's Jake. He, he and I are splitting it. I sent him Pyro and uh, I kept Rogue. I think this Rogue Wait. is amazing. Can you highlight Joe Chip's? Uh, I need to correct something really quick. Joe Chip's comment. By the way, I love that rogue. That's from the Christos Gage run, right? Like right after the Mike Carey run, if I'm not mistaken, what she looks like. Uh, so Joe Chip is saying for anybody that's driving and can't read, I also remember Omar saying he won't buy the Death of Superman omnibus reprint. Uh, it's not necessarily true, Joe. I said I recommend uh, you all not buying the Death of Superman on this reprint. I never said I wasn't going to buy it. Maybe I need to go back and watch that video. Maybe I did say I was going to. Shit. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> can't remember what I say on my videos. Are you okay, man? <laughs> no. I haven't been okay for a long time. You need That's to why talk I come on this, this show. <laughs> you need to talk to me after this. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for you, Omar. We love you. <laughs> this is secretly going to turn into Omar's intervention. <laughs> oh man, I love that always sunny episode. Intervention, intervention. All right, all right. What else you get? Uh, and then Geo informed me there there was a symbiote we didn't have, and that was Deadpool Back in Black. Yeah, nice. So I made sure to get that because I now oh. have a, a new. Now that I have Gwen Stacy, um, I have a new. A uh, theme that's going to go on that door involving spider man because that door is full of spider figures. So, I, for some reason, I just love spider figures because uh, I can put them on doors and they look epic. 
Um, I got a bunch of vault books that I wanted to read. Uh, test. What's it about? I think vault. Uh oh, it doesn't have much of a description, but I read. I read enough that it it looked interesting to me. I think some human experimentation is going on. Hmm. And the plot. This is supposed to be really good. When Chase, in order to receive and when, when Chase Blaine's estranged brother and sister in law are murdered, he becomes guardian to Mackenzie and Zach, the niece and nephew. Nephew he hardly knows. Seeking stability for the children, Chase moves his newly formed family to his ancestral home in Cape Augusta, which overlooks a deep black bogland teeming with family secrets. <laughs> I love it. Uh, alien bounty hunters. Oh, that looks so cool. I hope so. Tasked with capturing... The Marky Mark wrote that? Wait, wait, wait. Mark? That's not, wait Marky Mark wrote Mark that book? Wahlberg? No, yeah, Marky Mark. Okay. We, we don't refer to him as Mark Wahlberg. That is Marky Mark. He Mark wrote the book? Mark. From Mark Wahlberg. Mm, it sounds like he came up with a concept. Writer Adrian Wassel, writer Davey, David Booher, created by Stephen Levinson, story by Stephen Levinson and F.J. DeSanto. I don't see what Mark Wahlberg had to do with it except make really crappy food. I was going to say, <laughs> is the Wahlberger restaurant on that? Yeah. In the book? Tasked with capturing the most wanted fugitive in the universe, Ben Madsen from Arcadia, California, must track his mark through a city filled with dangerous aliens. Definitely not from Arcadia, California. Right here on Earth. It sounds like a comedy. But the artwork looks cool. I like her hair. That's cool. Yeah. Let's see if there's more of that. Yeah. Nice. And let's see. Two more vault books. Queen of Bad Dreams. When an entity known <clears throat> as a figment emerges from a dreamer's mind, it's Daher's job as an IJ to track them down and make the call, reinsert the figment or grant them agency in our world. After an especially powerful figment escapes the dreams of an even more powerful politician's son, Daher is pulled headlong into an investigation that traces all the way back to the incident that sent dreams, even nightmares, spilling into our reality. So this is about fugitive dreams. It's just so up my alley. Hmm. Here's some kinetic action for those of you falling asleep. <laughs> no sound effects. I like it. <laughs> oh. it's, like, it's like a real battle. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing but action. This art is cool. Yeah, I'm digging it. It's yeah. nice and clean. Yeah, I'm going to do a Vault uh, video here soon. This is called Songs for the Dead from Vault. Vault. From Vault. <clears throat> Bethany is a minstrel with a heart full of adventure, a would-be hero determined to find a missing boy from the town of Lyme and a friend to all woodland creatures, but mostly the dead ones, because Bethany is also a necromancer. Cool. Ooh. Now, come on. Captured by the vile Lord Roland, Bethany will make an unlikely friend who is all too good at providing more corpses to raise. I think you just gave away the plot of all four issues. You're probably right. <laughs> well, that was, what was on the back. Yeah, I never read the back unless you're doing a book report for school. <laughs> uh this was a Warren Ellis book I didn't have, and it looks like it's very early Warren Ellis, year 2000. Jesus. What do you got? Just still going. Sh oh, I'm not even halfway through. Strange <laughs> Kiss. <laughs> oh, man, I love Strange Kiss. I love oh, all good. that Warren Ellis stuff. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, it's from Avatar. He's a combat magician. Come on. Ooh. That one is a weird one where, yeah, it's, it's, it's Warren Ellis at his weirdest. Oh, good. Where the guy has... 
relation to a little tire boy and gets lizards in his stomach. Huh? Yes. <laughs> no, I can't wait for Omni Dog's review of that book. <laughs> um, and then I, I have a cover collection of all that stuff. So the yeah. Savage Avengers. So I got oh, the that's so good. I, I love like that you. book. Thank it you so much. For, thank you so much for making that oversized hardcover happen. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> I got the two Doctor Strange by Mark Wade. I didn't have. Thank you for You're making welcome. that omnibus cap happen. Thank You're you. You're welcome for that too. Oh. Uh, I got, oh here's another cult <laughs> vault comic. In 1997, a group of teenagers discover a treasure of immeasurable wealth. Fearing that their newfound fortune will be stolen from them, they make a pact. One day, they'll all come back as adults. Divide their riches and live happily ever after. Now, 15 years later, they have returned, not to uncover a fortune, but to bury a friend. Oh. And get a fortune, maybe. Sounds like the plot of Five Bloods. I don't know about the mm -hmm. art, but it looks very yeah, good. That, that art looked kind of gorky, but I could probably get used to it. Punisher Soviet? Solid. Yeah. I so love Jason it. Burroughs' art in that book. Love Jason Burroughs. He's like he's really channeling Steve Dillon in that too. Like the way he draws Frank. Um, I'm hoping that all of these will eventually get like some kind of oversized hardcover treatment. These little Punisher books, these Punisher yeah. books. Mm -hmm. is, is this set in the Max universe? Is this more Max stuff? It's this one's pretty brutal. It, it's, Max. it's Max. Yeah. Yeah, it is Max. Uh, okay, so right. it's Max. Yeah, Ennis has got his basically his own little Punisher universe in Max. Yeah, you're right. It is. Oh yeah, they they let him do whatever he wants to. Doesn't matter, right? It's not canon. Um, I got Collapser. It is. Oh, a, I thought you said something else. Oh, this is the Young Animal book. Yeah. This looks just weird enough for me. I heard that's pretty good. Oh, here's another Doctor Strange book. Number four. Now you're really getting a uh, hardcover. <laughs> no, it, it's when the OHCs come out that you need to upgrade to those, and then they'll announce the omnibus. Oh, we, that's well, how we. That's I'm guaranteeing you're getting an OHC now. Or the <laughs> for sure you're getting an OHC. Indestructible Hulk by Mark Wade, which I oh. have never read. Oh, I'm man, you got super made it hard by Riley, didn't you? Yep. I <laughs> love that run. It was so yeah. good and short lived. Riley has just been beating me about the head with the Hulk. Here's the Hulk big things. This is number eight that I got. Those are hard to find. Those are the yeah. Bruce Jones run, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. That's the last one for it. Uh, oh, Wonder Woman. yes. yes. This is considered really, really great, right? I haven't read it. Not by me. I don't think anybody else thinks William Mester Loeb's run is good or that oh, great. Really? Oh, I well, okay, I take it back. Me and Peter M. Really, and you know how I know how high you. I don't. I know you don't give a crap about my opinion, but I know <laughs> how high you regard Peter's opinion. So, oh, yeah. go back. There to, you go. I love that cover. Go back. Who's the uh, Who's the artist on that cover? Brian Boland did the covers during that, is that run. Brian Boland? That's beautiful. Yeah, that's that's, so, yeah, that's an iconic, iconic Wonder Woman image. They made a yeah. statue from that. Yeah. yeah. So this is the run that will introduce Artemis. It's the run with uh, Mike Deodato Jr.'s artwork. Uh, in the second volume, uh, I love this run. To me, this is like the most one of the most underrated runs on Wonder Woman. Um, it's one of my most. Uh, it's the one that I recommend the most too. I think it's great. I, I love this run. Also, the spine matches with the Greg Rucka books Ooh. and and the John Byrne books. Yeah, nice. Yeah, That's gonna look great, man. That is very nice. Um, Gideon Falls. Mister Awesome also agrees with me. So there you go. With uh, words in the word balloons, I got uh, my copy from IST, so now I can read it. It's the one that was recalled. James Bond Origin by uh, Jeff Parker. And I think it's signed. Yeah, I got it signed. He's following up on Wade, right? I'm mean, not Wade, um, Ellis. <clears throat> Ellis, yeah. But it looks really good. And Jack Kirby. Oh, nice. Life of the King of Comics. Cool. 
Oh, is that the uh, the Tom Scioli book? Yeah. Oh, it looks so good to me. Oh, wow. I love that guy's I'm, artwork, dude. Yeah. I'm going to have to pick this up. That is beautiful. Uh, this just looks so great. Is it basically a biography of him? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a biography. That guy is a uh, hardcore Kirby uh, historian. So He's the guy that does uh, Godland, and he did the uh, G.I. Joe versus Transformers series. Hmm. He's, a, he's a great uh, underground artist. He did the FF uh, Grand Design. Yep, and that one was a little um, cluttered. It was data. It was a data dump. It wasn't like yeah. That. It wasn't that good, and I wish that it, they had done something like the history of the Marvel Universe or even X Men Grand Design. This is. I am happy to read about the life of uh, Jack Kirby. What's his birthday this past week? Retina Humanoids book. Uh, I think I just like the um, I like the description. Um, I don't think anybody recommended it to me that I can remember. Well, say one corpse, two dead women, and LA's biggest crime conspiracy. In, it's set in two thousand thirty, so ten years from now. Hey guys, real quick, real quick, got to make a quick announcement. We hit two hundred live viewers. Yay! That's that was a up. goal. That was a goal we had in mind for a moment, and we're past that. So thanks everybody watching right now. Uh, wow, two hundred and two hundred over two hundred people in the chat. I was like two hundred eight a minute ago. Awesome. Wow. Door volume four. Jason Aaron, and then a huge. I'm just going to burn through these because they're all Corgan Maltese. Oh, yeah. you bastard! Uh, <laughs> you bastard I've been, I've been holding out on those for so many years hoping you, for hard covers you and, shouldn't because some of these are getting really pricey and starting to get hard to find I know yeah let's get some uh, thumbs up thank you some thumbs up and if you're new here give us a sub give us a subscribe can we see some art inside that Jess I've never seen these books before yeah the art is beautiful. It's Hugo Pratt. His stuff is so good. That guy on the cover looks like just the biggest douchebag. He has such a punchable face. No, he's <laughs> he's a pimp, dude. What are you talking about? Very Tim That's Selish. Awesome it's a good thing to uh Jess is a huge fan of Tim Sell, too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like Tim Sell, Jess? We've talked about this several I, times. We always bust his balls about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how it was, uh, that's how I got the Batman Tim Sale book because it was that pain pill purchase. But I don't even remember. It was like live <laughs> and boxing on the air. Jess, this is this is nothing but Tim Sale, man. I know. I, I, I'm telling tell you right now, Jess, if you don't it's like not, these, it's not as water, it's not as ink washy I, as Tim Sale. I know a dude that will get uh, would buy these from you. Uh, if what a dollar a buck? I didn't. No, wait. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that to you. <laughs> Joe Tib is asking to uh, that you do a review on that stuff, Jess. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> 2025. You can do it right here on Omni Bros. That's it for me. All, All right. right. I'll go. I'll go next really quick. Uh, some of my books started finally showing up, so I did. Nice. Like I said. I FOMO'd myself into rebuying my Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. Oh, Omnia. you rebought it? You had yeah, I used to have them, and I sold them, and I'm like, ah, I'm just going to get the complete collections because that's when they started coming out. Or, I'm sorry, the the epic collections. And yeah. Nope, that was stupid. I know this is one of Jess's favorite books. Oh, Prison Pit, dude. Uh, <laughs> I never finished reading it, so I had to get it. I was like, yeah. oh, wait, it's a complete thing. It's a nice little yeah. hardcover. I'm going to get gonna, it. I'm going to get it real bad because I had the little, like, the manga books, but man, yeah, the cover, I had the cover a couple fell of off. Them. Yeah, the cover fell off. Yeah, so here you go. I love your shirt, Omar. I just, I just noticed what it was. Yes, thank you, man. Do not open until darkest hour. All right, and I'm gonna show you guys this because I love you on. I know how much everybody here loves uh, Mondo. So Marvel sent me this. This doesn't come out for I think a, a month or so. Ooh. But this is the Marvel art of Mondo. It's a poster Ooh. book. So all those freaking posters that sell out from Mondo, like, quick. That all the, all the bots buy? Yeah, I'm going to show a couple. You're welcome, just, Kevin, Jerry. Just, <laughs> just a, 
Uh, look at that. They're all poster That's size. Gorgeous, I mean, they're, they're beautiful. Uh, this is here. Let me show you one of my favorite ones. So they're all done by different artists. Like that was Becky Cloonan. I don't know if you all know who she I is. I like her a lot. Mm -hmm. I really That's like cool. that cloak Very, uh, and daggers. 80s, 80s I love that. that cloak and dagger. Awesome. Uh, this one, they, they have some pretty, are, are the pages perforated? Can you pull them out? Yeah, yeah. I have they come out easy. Like, that's one of my favorites. Yeah. It's yeah. ridiculous, but when they do things like this. So I hope this is just the beginning because, yeah, some of these go out so quick. Like, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. I'll do an overview on my channel. Um, but but I remember, yeah, I remember this one when they did this one. This one was gone quick. The War of the Realms right. one. This one here. But, that's it for me, though. All right. Cool. Um, cool. Uh, was that all? Anybody else want to go? I got a big haul if anybody else wants to go before me. I didn't haul anything. Fuck. <laughs> no? <laughs> no? <laughs> go for it. Go all for right. it, man. So here, Rich, uh, we'll go ahead and get into my stuff real fast. I got a nice chunky haul this week. It's been a while since I had a big haul. So, all right. Can you, Let's, can you highlight everything? Uh, can you highlight Eric's uh, comment, please? Eric Garza? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eric, it's a beautiful book, man. It's, oh, it's absolutely it. gorgeous. Y'all should be proud. All right. So, starting off. Still buying some key uh, invincible issues. For those of you that have read, you know what you know what's up with this book. You know what's up with this book. This is the first big twist uh, in the series, so I had to grab myself a copy of that. Uh, it's the first use of not politically correct language. It is. That that's, that's, that's exactly why. what it is. Uh, <laughs> the new Mega Man book came out, so I got the super cool uh, hollow foil cover. Who's the uh, who's making those? Is it Boom? It's Boom, yeah. And the art yeah, I, I showed you guys in the chat a little bit, but the art in this thing is really something else. It's really cool. I I'm a big fan about... of the uh, the Archie Mega Man series. I'm gonna fall into a hole. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna end up having to get the uh, the trade paperbacks that I'm missing from that Archie series because that was such a good series, and it just ended so abruptly and didn't. It's not all collected in trades, but this is really cool looking stuff. I don't know how I feel about the American style of his. Like, it reminds me, um, reminds me of the Mega Man one and two, uh, mm -hmm. and three American covers, you know, a little bit. And then the animation from America <laughs> yeah. that came out in the early um, aughts, or mid aughts, the original video game. Yeah, 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 the American box art. So this is something special. Check out what I got. Check this out. This is something special. Oh, I think I know what it is. 90s related. Oh, come on. Don't Look worry at that. It. Look at this Heroes Reborn poster. <laughs> Where did you find bit. that? <laughs> Why? eBay. <laughs> eBay, bro. <laughs> Look at that. You got some white in here. Up? You got some Jim Lee in here. Yes, I'm going to find a way to hang it up because it is round. It's not squared. It's a, it's, a round, uh, it's a round poster. But this thing is badass. Look at that. That is badass, guys. That's the coolest thing you're ever going to see on Omni Bros. Well, we just lost half of our subscribers. Uh, some speculation stuff came in. I grabbed a couple copies of Static Number One. <laughs> speculation so, stuff. I love so it. Those are those are coming in. Uh, I've I've been missing this book. I finally got this uh, issue. Oh seven. yes, uh, Moon Knight. That's, that's the awesome. That's the yeah. direct market cover to the War uh, um, Infinity Crusade omnibus. Yeah, this is the uh, the cool uh, Todd McFarland uh, homage cover from Stephen Platt. So that's the only one I've been missing. That's a, so I got that finally. I think that's that's the only one that he didn't draw the inside of too, right? Uh, no, he did the inside of it. So yeah, oh, he did. He I did thought that. that yeah. I thought he didn't do the inside of that one. Oh no, one hundred percent. I'll show you. You know he did okay. the inside. I, that I, one page? I I believe you. You don't have to show me. <laughs> no, I just want to show everybody this one page. I just said it's I believe thing you. You're ever going to see? I don't. I don't think you're going to believe me until you see this page. Where is it? Okay, I said I believed you, man. You know you. more about Stephen Platt than I do. I just what? noticed your shirt too. That's a cool shirt. Yeah, thanks. Look at this. Look at this double page spread. Oh my god. Nice. I'm so glad he looked at his marble handbook to see the proportions of these people. 
Like, Seuss the, Seuss the as tall as Thor's leg. That's awesome. Is Thor okay there? He's fine. Uh, <laughs> he looks uh, like he's going keepers on his arms. Stop by, uh, stop by one of my little honey hole uh, places in town. Got myself a Spectre Day of Vengeance on the bu- or trade paperback. Mm-hmm. Um, do you, do you not dress, have the? Uh, I I got. What? I was wondering. You don't have the uh, Infinite Crisis Omnibus? No, no. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> that's, that's the best DC event. <laughs> Her- Heroes Reborn is better than Infinite Crisis. Yes. Yes. Thank you for for understanding. Okay. Uh, it's no, I don't understand. Death, I got the uh, nice. big thing as well because I have all the Bruce Jones one through six. I'm not missing seven because this is, like you said, this is volume eight. Uh, grab this uh, today. Nice. Uh, I, some ISC stuff is starting to trickle in for me as well. Got Pope. Good. Nice. Good, good. Very cool. Uh, here's something for here's, this might end up being a, a yes. super bait for people. Shadow Roads. Point. If you don't know what this is and you've been reading Six Gun, this is the, the, the predecessor of the Six Gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not really the good. same characters or anything like that, but it takes place in the same world as Six Gun. You can read this without reading Six Gun, uh, but it'll be a lot of cool Easter eggs and fun stuff in here if you're a Six Gun fan. So if you're one of the people out there that's been real big into Six Gun, this is going to have to be your next pickup. It's going to be Shadow Roads. And Dude, just Brian Hurt's art is really, he, he's really yeah, involved or evolved, excuse me, since uh, the early uh, six gun days. Because his art in here is is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. So I got that. Um, had to pick this up. Uh, some of my favorite Jeff Darrow, Frank Miller stuff, hard boiled. The oversized hardcover for this. Nice. That's great. I didn't realize that this is uh, getting a little hard to find and getting a little pricey. Uh, yeah. But yeah, this thing, I love, I love, love this series so, so much. Just Jeff Darrell, I mean, not only did I love him for doing things like The Matrix and uh, and uh, Rusty and Big and Big Guy, but this hardball is one of the greatest things that I think he's ever really done. Plus all the cool covers he did for Transmetropolitan as well. So hard-boiled. Um, Immortal Hulk Volume 3. I'm sorry, this is Volume 2 Oversized Hardcover. Uh, following, uh, got Cruel Summer to go along with the rest of my criminal collection. Nice. Berserk Volume Volume 4, Berserk Deluxe. Oh, awesome. yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Got to get, got to have this. Uh, I got to go pick up volume five is the next one because that's that's the big bad boy right there, number five. So, got this. Um, I have to give a, a big thank you and shout out to Jamie Rogers. I know he's in the chat. I know he's in the group. Uh, he sold me Absolute Dark Victory. Nice. Did an awesome bang up job, but I should probably use the word bang up. I did a beautiful job at the packing. Uh, appreciate it very much. Now I can get rid of the uh, the omnibus because now I got these things and what I feel is the better format of the absolutes. Love, love this stuff. Sorry, Jess, Tim Cell, but got to give it out some love too. Um, Grant Morrison, Batman Omnibus Volume Three. Yeah, something for all the people who are uh, looking forward to that coming out this week. Got that as well. This is this is great. Now that completes the uh, Grant Morrison Batman run. And last but not least, it's the Spectre on the bus. Yeah, uh, buddy. Well, where I did a uh, a spotlight review here on Omni Bros Live. You can go and you can check that out on the channel as well. If you want to take a look inside and a deeper dive into this book, but this is some this is some cool stuff. I I'm really enjoying just I really enjoyed flipping through. Uh, this series and seeing all the great artwork in here, all the fun stories going on. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end up falling into a little bit of a specter, specter honey hole as well pretty soon. So, so that's it. If anybody's looking forward to stuff coming out this week, here's a quick little look at specter and uh, 
Grant Morrison Volume Three, and that is that, guys. That is that. Nice. All right, is that it? That's it for me. All right, let's do this thing. Thoughts and prayers before we dive in. Oh man. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. check it out. Yeah. Ooh, yay! You got it. Nice. Nice. Are you still hauling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just has so much money. He keeps hauling. Oh, shit. I forgot about this. I'm sitting on it. I just ordered it, and it just came in. Uh, <laughs> don't you don't you rub your uh, mailing privileges on me. <laughs> my, my stuff takes two months to get here. <laughs> who's sharing the list? Who's Who's got this? Uh, I got it real quick. Are we gonna and we're sure... And we're sure everything from DC is coming out this week, right? Like we're sure we have no control over what actually is there. Okay, how about that? We can bring up the list, the IST list as well. I have previews. I have the USC. The IST uh, list is is out of date. They haven't updated it. Yeah, because there's several books that have been postponed until October. The latest list is going to be there. That Spectre on the bus is awesome, guys. I really hope it does well because I would love for uh, that oh, yeah. stuff or the Ostrander stuff to come out. Aust- Ostrander stuff is so good. Yeah. Dude, those covers, I was looking at the covers and I was doing the video. Man, the covers on those books are fantastic. It's some of the coolest looking covers for a book that nobody knows anything about. <laughs> so, Man- Mandrake did a lot of the. Uh, the Ostrander stuff. All right, who's sh- who's sharing? Who's got it? I got it. Let me put it up real quick here. I can't tell if Jess is frozen or if he's having a stroke. There he is. All right, good. Let me go get the, the mailman real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's that from? <laughs> You're looking at it now, sir. <laughs> this, is, this is like space balls where you're they're watching the video <laughs> live after it's being filmed. Is that what you made, Jill? Yeah, that's what I made. That's awesome. <laughs> do you do you have a list of the fifty percent off books, Jess? She did not uh, have them when I talked to her uh, at one minute to eight tonight. Okay, so Chad Omni Dog, we don't know, so it's anybody's guess. Uh, by the way, Nesta, good luck finding those uh, those Ostrander uh, Spectre trade paperbacks. They're like I, they are whales right now. Dude. I lucked out and I ended up with uh, two custom bound books uh, last year yeah. on eBay. They are a work of art, dude. They I were, was they were expensive as shit, and, but they were they are a work of art. I just can't I wait for DC. Out, dude. I didn't know they were going I out. I saw it on eBay and I was like, a hundred dollars. What the hell is going on here? So the custom bound the custom okay. bound books are beautiful because those those things are freaking expensive as heck. <laughs> All right, so let's get to uh, let's get uh, let's take a look here through preview. share it, baby. Let's make it happen, brah. Word. All right, everybody. Here it goes. Say goodbye to your money. Say goodbye to your kids' college funds. Um, here is. A look at this week's releases that you will be able to find um, on our awesome sponsor, InStockTrades.com's website, starting tomorrow, 12 noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you can chop that up to whatever time zone you're in. It's going to start with Image Comics, and right out the gate, right out the gate, I think I'm going to need to pick this up, and that is the Complete Witchblade Volume oh, 1. Wow. Um, that was the Kickstarter book. Love it. Yeah, it's great that it's coming there. Yeah, uh, Death or Glory Volume Two. That's another great Rick Remender book. That's great. Uh, Ice Cream Man Volume Five. That's also great. Uh, Dark Horse. Dark Horse this week we got Minecraft and the True Lies of the Fabulous Killjoys. Is that a hardcover? What is this? That's For the slipcase. Oh yeah. no, that's a library edition. They had a slipcase edition a few years ago. They had a slipcase a few years ago and it was really nice. I'm sure they'll reprint the slipcase if this one sells well enough because yeah. they've reprinted the slipcases of the oh, this Umbrella isn't Academy. The slipcase? I thought no, it was- this, that's the library edition. Oh, the the library slipcase is. would be like $79, I think. Yeah, all right. 
Uh, IDW this week, we got uh, Be Gay, Do Comics, Trade Paperback, uh, reprint for uh, Godzilla, the uh, Half Century War hardcover. This is wait, wait, awesome. Wait. Click, on, love click on that. Stoko. Click on that. That's Stoko, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stoko, yes, sir. I have the uh, volume one or the uh, the first print. Oh, yes. I'm so glad it, awesome. it did not get canceled. I was so worried it was going to get canceled. Dude, that is such a damn great book. Bro, like for those of you who don't know, this art on the cover is just the tip of the iceberg of the art looks on the inside. Yeah. Stoko is a maniac. Maniac. Yeah. If you've ever wondered how to um, if you've ever wondered about reading Godzilla comics, this is where you can start. There you don't need yeah, to know anything about them. It's great. Yeah. It's great stuff. It follows one soldier's uh, life as you know of fifty years of him and how Godzilla's affected his life in the military and stuff like that. It's really good yep. stuff. A great entry point. Yep. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Reborn Volume One from the Ashes. Uh, DC Comics. This is what they have here for Diamond. We'll look at uh, UCS <laughs> afterwards. But it's Superhero <laughs> Girls Midterms. Poor, poor Diamond. DC's like deuces, baby. Yeah, I'm out. All right, you're gonna have superhero. All right, buddy. Hold on to hold on to uh, hold on to your pants. Here we go with Marvel this week. Wow. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man by Nick Spencer. Uh, trade paperback volume. Whatever. No one cares because we're gonna move eight. on to eight. <laughs> Thank you. Because right, we're gonna you. move on to Spider-Man, J. Michael Straczynski, Volume Two that has not one, not two, but three covers coming out this week. Uh, you have the uh, I'm getting the the back in black cover. The uh, I think that's the, the Garney cover here in the middle. Mm -hmm. you got the Joe Casada cover here. These two are the the two count them yes two DM variants for for this release. And for wow. ev okay, and for everybody that's been asking me and messaging me about this, every single omnibus, all of these three are flat spines. So <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you all know <laughs> they're all flat spines. I don't know if it's a deal breaker for some people, but apparently it is for others. So you guys hear you that? Go. You guys hear that? That's every omnibus collector just shit themselves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I like them thick too with the curve, but you know, what, what are you going to do? Hey, I'm getting, I'm getting that black and black one, no matter what. It could be an inside out inverted Audi of a spine. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, but yeah, so uh, everybody in the chat, which which cover are you going to get? I'm getting the black uh, back. I and think black one. if any of them are going to be gone, it's going to be the back and black cover. That's yeah. the one that ha that was uh, that had a lower print run than the others. That's going to go quick. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the better cover, I think. I'm, you know, just I'm not, glad not I'm... too much into the bondage S and M, you know, kink dot com, uh, Joe Casado one here, but you know, to each their own. Uh, <laughs> Hanky Pim, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, Black Cat Volume Two, trade paperback coming out. Uh, Black Widow Strikes Omnibus. Then we also have the uh, DM also... cover for that as well. Also flat spines. Uh oh. Also flat spines. Not not the next one though. Cloak and Dagger Omnibus Volume One regular and DM cover. Not flat spined. The, no, these are totally curved spines. Those are curved spines. Uh, Daredevil Electra Love and War Gallery. Is this just like a like a big old gallery edition? Yeah, that, that book is beautiful, man. Um, uh, like, gosh, damn it. <laughs> And it's the Electra Assassin by Bill Sienkiewicz when he was doing all that trippy artwork. Yeah, but he's actually was physically gluing, gluing sure. the glass to it. Yeah, I love that stuff. Oh, oh, oh! It's a uh, two complete stories. Yeah, it's the what's it called Love and War, the the graphic novel, and then the Electra epic series. Remember, like the whole thing about Dan Quell being in. Oh, I love that story. It's before Miller went all crazy. But anyway, yeah, that's nice looking. I might get that. Yeah, that, that, that's on my radar, dude. Uh, Immortal Hulk, uh, trade paperback volume seven. That's not the cover. <laughs> that's not, this is the cover. <laughs> that's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> yeah, that's not, I don't know what that is. There you, this, this is the cover. Looks like Red Hulk. Spoilers. Uh, and then we got Old Man Hawkeye, uh, complete collection. Uh, Tarot, Avengers. 
and the Fender Straight Paperback, Tomb of Dracula Complete Collection, and the reprint of Wolverine Omnibus Volume 1, the Steve McNiven DM cover, and of course the uh, the direct market Frank Miller comic cover. All right, so here's the thing. The, the direct market cover of this has the flat spine. The regular cover has the curved spine. So there you go. So wait, For those that Miller, have been asking me. This is a monkey's paw situation, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Which, <laughs> yeah. But the Celestia is also cursed. The, <laughs> it's just the way that they were trying out a different printer during this weird time. and the Somewhere printer... right now, David is laughing. <laughs> you fucking nerds. <laughs> So there you have it. That's that's if you want the curved spine, you get the regular standard edition cover. If you want the flat spine, it's the direct market cover. So the the Frank Miller one, the one right here, has the curved spine. You're saying? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, so what is this? Hulk 181 through 182. Oh, I'm sorry, Hulk 180 through 182 and 340. This is the awesome. classic Wolverine stuff. Yeah. Wolverine one through four. That's the oh, third I'm going to say it one more time in case the people in the back didn't hear me. We got to make this book sell so we can get a Wolverine Omnibus Volume 2. I got a bet with David going on. <laughs> so I buy told it. him this, this book would sell, and he's like, all right, well, maybe we'll get an Omnibus Volume 2 if it sells enough. So you all know what to do. Buy your Dude, grandma I, a copy. I need this. I, I might, <laughs> buy your I mean, neighbor a copy. I agree <laughs> with him. I want to get this just for the Marvel Comics Presents, just for that Weapon X, uh, Barry Winter Smith storyline. Yes. And... Um, the Wolverine annual uh, that Mike Zek covers is just one of the greatest things that ever produced by comics. So. Wolverine issue 10 is one of my favorite comic books of all time. Like, I know it's not worth the price of admission, but yeah. it's freaking wonderful. So, so is Punisher War Journal 6 to 7, that Jim Lee little run mm -hmm. right there. It's awesome. Great stuff there, too. It's got some good stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, okay, keep going. Boom Studios. We got Bear. The original graphic novel for that, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, uh, trade paperback, Steven Universe, ongoing trade paperback, volume eight. Buy your whole family a copy. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> 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 your grandma for Christmas is going to be like, what the hell is this heavy ass box? <laughs> Omar said we get volume two. Uh, now, now, hold on a second, Granny. You see, you, you see what that is? That's the COVID variant of Wolverine on the pit. <laughs> Uh, okay, so here's the uh, the back matter of things. Uh, we'll just scroll through here and see if there's anything that we want to kind of touch base on. And of course, Geo Archie, Archie book, uh, Betty and Veronica. Veronica. That's a cool looking yeah. cover. That Breathless man, that is a brutal cover. I don't even know what that is, but is Ooh. that like a Sarah McLaughlin song? <laughs> somebody's re uh, it's the what's it called? Somebody's uh, somebody's thing. Yeah, thank you, Jess. Inhaler. What's the word? Inhaler. Inhaler. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Fake nerds. I know we don't talk about manga, but please get uh, Demon Slayer and Doctor Stone and Haiku and all that fun stuff. And you can always you get check that out uh, Wolverine Geo Omnibus Volume Two. Will show happen. every other Thursday yeah. right here on the uh, Omnibus Collectors Network, where he does previews and solicitations yeah. as well. Yeah, this right, so Thursday we're getting a manga show. All right, comic two, classic. Two. Welcome to the, your first omnibus. Wolverine is your first omnibus. What a what a great omnibus to be a first omnibus. That is that is a good one to to break your cherry. I look forward. Now, to do we know for sure if this is coming out? Because God, I'm looking forward to Booster Gold. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a reason, according to uh, UCS. You know, yeah, I, I I know what that means, but comic yeah, I got classic. It. I look, we'll see I look what happens. Forward. Comic class. Mess, I look man. forward to your um, so, to your post in the Facebook group of thirty omnibuses you're going to pick up in the next week. Yeah, sorry about your wallet, bro. That's typically welcome, what ends up happening. Welcome, welcome to the community. Uh, Booster Gold, uh, Future Lost. Is this the uh, that that kind of like in between New Fifty Two, um, regular no, series stuff? Check yourself, man. This is the I'm Dan asking. Jurgens run. So this is the classic stuff that introduced Booster Gold. This is the second. This will finish out that Booster Gold series, which Amazon has it coming out Wednesday or tomorrow, rather. Yeah, uh, we're, not, we're not allowed to say the A word. Just this episode <laughs> sponsored and sponsored I, by InStockTrade.com. <laughs> I am aware of that, but I'm just double checking to see when it's available. 
2017 Jazz. I love the way you think, my dude. Uh, we already talked about Disney <laughs> Superheroes. <laughs> All right, so we got Flash uh, Savage Velocity. I am so looking forward to that. That's a Mike Barron's run, and it kicks off the crisis, post-Crisis on Infinite Earths run. And a certain so, Jackson Geist, better known as Butch Geist. Dude, art. when I was a kid, I would fight my friends and be like, Butch Geist is a better artist than Jackson Geist. Like, I had no <laughs> idea they were the same dude. <laughs> <laughs> this was before the age of the internet and Wizard Magazine. We didn't have shit like that to tell us that it was that's the same like, guy. That's like Gabriel Hardman, and he had his pen name back in the day, too. Or who was it uh, Who was it that was married to uh, my boy Lane Wayne? Lane Wayne, uh, his his wife, Glen- Glennis uh, Oliver, right? And then she took on his last name, and I was like, "Who? Who is this? This must be uh, Lane Wayne's brother." <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, Longbow Hunters, Green Arrow, uh, Mike Grove, Longbow Hunters, Omnibus. Oh my God! This week, holy yeah, shit! Bro. E-Man Masters of the Multiverse trade paperback by Tim Seeley and Dan Fraga. That's a good combination, right? There. Wow, Dan Frog, I haven't seen that name in over two decades, probably. Yeah. Uh, Hellblazer Volume Twenty Three, No Future. That's the Peter Milligan stuff. That's getting to the end of that run. This is this is gonna have to go on my list. Powers, best hardcover or uh, the best ever hardcover. I just love Powers, and it's been a long time since we had anything Powers related. So I'm gonna have to check this out to celebrate the 20th anniversary. Uh, I'm remastered pages from seven and eight. I don't know. I'm probably gonna pick it up either way. If I can find it for for cheap, I might pick that up because it's Powers. And uh, oh no no Spectre Wrath of Spectre Omnibus totally awesome I think everybody should check that out Supergirl Cosmic Adventures in the eighth grade and Teen Titans Beast Boy and also Batman Morrison at IST right correct which yep. brings your total to eight Omnis <laughs> all right guys. Whew. What's the first thing that's gonna go out? I think this is difficult. I think a lot of these will stay. In print, J- JMS, uh, JMS black black uh, print will probably be the one. Good, the black one. Good guess. What about uh, you, Jets? What do you think, Jess? I'll, I'll go with that because that's the lower print run, and more people want it. That's a good bet. Okay, but it has a flat spine. Oh, oh. <laughs> you said the F word, flat spine. I'm gonna go. What with uh? Him. What about you, uh, Gabe? What's your money on? Uh, Spider Man because everybody's everybody's going crazy over Volume One, so everybody's going to end up picking up Volume Two, and it's plus it's Spider Man. Spider Man stuff sells hard. Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. Back in black cover. Back in black cover. All right, Geo, you look like a man of uh, been thinking for a while. Green Arrow. Green Arrow. I'm pretty good, pick. good pick. I'm thinking it's going to be Cloak and Dagger direct market cover. I think that's going to be the one that goes first. It's going to mm-hmm. be the underdog that nobody's keeping an eye on. And before you know it, people are going to be like, wait, where's the direct market cover? Can you sell me on Cloak and Dagger? Do you think I'd like it? <sighs> it's okay if you don't. It's, it's, it. it's 80s. Ah. Uh, it's To me, it had a lot of nostalgia. There's a lot of good artists on that run. You had Rick Leonardi. You had a couple of Arthur Adams issues. <sighs> if it's yeah, I, nostalgia, I get what you're saying. It, you know, but honestly, so is Longbow Hunters. So is that Omnibus. I'm they, not they, getting that either. See, and, it, and that kind of reminds me a lot of that because they were both, you know, kids living on the street and fighting the same thing that Ollie was fighting in the streets of Seattle during that time. You know, very political, not political, but just the things that were happening on the in the headlines at that time. I, 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 can, I can see that selling out because, god damn, Power Pack sold out. Well, the direct market went quick because yeah. yeah. it had Master Mold on it. So That, that was it. Yeah, that was it. You can only pick three Omnis from this week. Jesus, only three? <laughs> uh, which ones would they be? Spectre, JMS2, Wolverine. I have to go with Wolverine. Uh, I, I have my money riding on it, uh, and my credibility, uh, da, 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 da. green arrow and green arrow is a wonderful freaking book, man, this is tough. Honestly, Which- cloak and dagger. I really enjoy cloak and dagger that much. I love Morrison's run, right? But I think Morrison's Batman's going to be there for a while. Mm-hmm. 
Like, I don't think Morrison's Batman's going to go anywhere. Uh, I would say Spectre, JMS, Spidey, and and Witchblade. That's not an omnibus. I'm calling it an omnibus. You fooled yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you yeah. changed your own rules. Yes, the Amazing Spider-Man is going to have the flat spine, guys. All of them have the flat spine. Yes. What does the direct market cover of Cloak and Dagger look like? I did a video back in March, and I think my video, if you look up direct market cover, it should show up on Google search. Or you can watch the video. It's up to you. But it's yeah. the, that's the direct market. They're both drawn by Rick Leonardi, and honestly, both are really nice. I almost – actually, I like the standard edition cover a little more. I just like that color scheme they used. Uh, is JMS Volume 2 print run more than usual or just split with up with three covers so they'll go fast? The standard edition, I think it's fine, but the other two have a lower print run. Get the one that you like. I mean, I like the black one better just because I like Ron <laughs> Garvey and the, the storylines. <laughs> Zach's got the right answer. Wolverine, Wolverine dark, Direct Market, and Wolverine would be my choice. <laughs> Looks like everybody at Zach's family is getting that for Christmas. We don't we don't know what the fifty percent off books are gonna be or if they're even gonna have any, so we don't wanna even guess. Then people will be pissed at us. These guys said this book would be fifty percent off. So oh. That's the last thing we wanna do. It's not Wednesday without a visit from one of the kids. Hey buddy. Say hi. Oh, what's up, little man? Say hi. <laughs> All right, buddy, go play with mom, okay? It's time you watch your mouth, Gio. Tone it down. Yeah. Geo, yeah. you yeah, and your body mouth. All right, all right, buddy. I love you so much. Go with mommy. Um, so gift card time. Gift card. Gift card time. Uh, Jess, this is kind of your thing, right? Um, yeah, but I'm not signed in to the Omni Bros uh, email. I'm signed into my own email. Oh, okay. Um, is that is that a big deal? Like, well, I don't know. Uh, just a sec. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. Who can guess Jess's password to his email? <laughs> That's the question. Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> the second space balls. <laughs> oh, this is a good question. I second this question. Can you enjoy JMS's volume two without reading volume one? Sure. But I strongly suggest reading volume one because there are things that volume yeah. one set up. Like it literally set up the whole spider totem and like all, all, like all of that, and it sucks because Volume One is out of print right now. Yeah, Volume One is went... a great story too. That's just an amazing game. The... Stuff there. Man, I tell you what, dude, I was surprised when Volume One has a nine eleven issue in it too, right? So oh yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. but it also has since passed, so you know, it yeah. life balances it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, this one has uh, one more day, <laughs> so. Mm. Okay, everybody, please sign in to or go to omnibroslive at gmail.com. In the subject header, put IST giveaway and then give us in the body of the email your email address that you use at IST. Shout out to the 223 people right now. Blow up that inbox with your chance. You're gonna need an extra fifty bucks. Make, make it easy for Jess. Make it easy for Jess. Two hundred twenty-three people. Seriously, that's yes. funny. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, live at gmail.com. Wait, is that it? You're not gonna like ask him a question? No, I just I'm gonna do a uh, random number generator because I can never think of questions that they can't just Google. Come on, what the make them Google, Jess? Nah, I never, never. No, nah, no, nah, man, that's cool. It's it's your show. You do your thing. Okay, well, you're, you're the one that runs it. It's cool. Uh, it, it, besides, Mar people have, people have already probably emailed. What is this for the U.S. only? No. no, this is open to international waters. You can use this if you're overseas to pay for shipping. Oh what? yeah, I just got like twenty in a row. Yeah, it's good, man. Do your I'm thing. You're about to get another two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up, everybody. Thumbs up to 220 people in chat. Hit that subscribe button if this is your first time around. We're giving away basically a free omnibus. 
with free shipping. What, what, what was the subject header? The subject header is IST gift card, right? Yeah, IST gift card, and in the body, just give your email address that you use for IST. And after you announce the winner, I got to bounce off. I didn't realize I did it was too. So, guys, y'all be good. Uh, check us out on Near Mint Condition. Check Geo out at a weekend geek them. Omni Dog at Omni Dog's Vault. Comics guy. Every once in a while, I think Gabe publishes stuff. You're on Instagram, right? Comics Guide? Twitter. 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 Yeah. Cool, cool. Hey, uh, this week I'm going to be looking at the Marvel solicitations for December. If y'all want to join me again, that was a lot of fun. I'll let you know when. I know Gabe probably can't make it because he's working during the days. but uh, The email is down at the bottom, Roberto Rodriguez, omnibroslive at gmail.com. So good luck, everybody. Good luck. Uh, what's the email? Um, Omnibros live at gmail.com. Only there's a way for me to make it, it scroll it, across the screen it, somehow. It's, it's scrolling down there. Unless you're driving your car, I don't know why you would be emailing, but good luck to you <laughs> too. Please don't wreck and drive. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you write as long as you just send in whatever gets sent in in the next two minutes is what I'm going to use. I'm gonna so it all. You, can, you can put whatever you want as the subject matter. I know that you're doing it for the gift card. Um, and we have <laughs> 140 entries. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Good luck, everybody. That's that's what's up, man. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna give it 30 more seconds because we all have to some, go back. Yes, yeah, some people have uh, a little bit of a lag. So, mm -hmm. um, okay, can you show that GIF of me again doing whatever I was doing yesterday? Did you what? call it a GIF? What? That's amazing. He <laughs> called it. He called it a GIF. That's what the guy that created the GIFs calls it a GIF. Okay, I thought it was GIF. I thought it was GIF too, but the guy that created it calls it a GIF, and I think everybody calls it a GIF. I thought it was GIF. No, that's what we call it, right? I'm that's calling what everybody it. Everybody calls it. Yeah, but I'm gonna say GIF, and I don't care. <laughs> you do you, man. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jeffrey Roberts. <laughs> hey guys, I bought three of your t shirts from Teespring. Omar, what is Raw Shark eating on Lane Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey Roberts. Yeah, man. Thanks Thank for the support and those shirts, man. Send us yeah. pictures. We'll post them up. 0.7% chance of winning. I'm feeling good. That's better than the lottery, the misfit. Yeah. No, it's Jeff. Like the peanut butter? I don't know. You uh, kids. I don't know. Who gives a I do. Whoa. Well, oh, Geo kidding. gives it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. So, would that make your name Geo? <laughs> Geo. No. <laughs> if it's Euro. GIF, then it's Geo. Geo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Great. Jess. Moment of moment of truth. Okay, what do you got? We're at 175. I'm kind of at 175. Oh, oh, look, everybody. And generate. Trichodosis, what's up, buddy? I haven't seen you in a little while. Uh, one, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> 123. I got to count 123. You can do it, Jess. <laughs> Start at one. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, they'll mute One, us. One, two, or, or skip just, a few. 175. Put us on silent so you can concentrate because we're gonna throw you off. Uh, the god dang it! You each well, no, here, man, do this, dude. All you have to do <laughs> is make sure that the uh, emails you're you're showing a hundred emails, and then just count twenty five from the next ones because they're all the same, right? They're all for the IST. What? Oh boy! Yeah, I got you. <laughs> find your find your F key on your goddamn keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's an old joke for anybody that's new. One, two, chat. three. Four, five, oh my gosh! <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Geo, please help him. <laughs> please, for the love of God, I gotta go see kids before they go to bed. <laughs> I just came in here and fell asleep, man. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> He's got the right idea. G Scott. 
Sean Mollison. Sean Mollison. Congratulations, Sean. There you go. Sean. All right. Sean Mollison. Sean Mollison. And I will send you, Omar, the uh, a uh, the name. I got uh, you, man. For the chat. I mean, after this chat. Yep. So congratulations. <laughs> oh, you want me to count twice, Chase? Okay, let me go back and double count. <laughs> Oh, you're going to piss Sean off when you're like, whoops, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> so, Sean Mollison, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. We're, we're, we're waiting for the Maybe. Recount. Maybe. Congratulations. We're the, we, are the, we are the Florida of comic book collectors. We're waiting for the recount. <laughs> yeah, we're, All right, right Jess. Recount it. Everybody's already congratulating him. He's already bought his mom a copy of Wolverine Omnibus. <laughs> uh oh, recount. Okay, let me recount him. <laughs> you all did hear this man go one, two, right? Just throwing that out there. <laughs> I can't even count to eleven. I'm pulling down my pants. <laughs> what happened to your? No, you know what? Never mind. Yes, this is just a second account. <laughs> yes. Okay. Groovy. Good job, Charlie. All right. You got Good. it, buddy? You did it again? No. I'm, oh. I'm sending it to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not counting. I'm okay. Not counting. Okay. Congratulations, Sean. Good job, man. Yeah. Everybody, peace and love. Good night. I'm out of here as well. Thank you all. Uh, Hang out with these guys. I just got to go put my kids to bed. So, all right. gentlemen, much love to all of you. I'll be back next Monday, and y'all can come and hang out with me when I do the solicits if you want. Take care, man. Bye, Bye guys. Bye, man. Okay. Bye, Omar. <laughs> uh, all right. This is a marathon of a show. Yeah, I'm... I'm almost yeah. out of myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can find me, Omnidog, on Omnidog's Vault on YouTube, and where I just put up an Essential Editions video for what's coming. Ah, there it is, right there. Uh, essential Editions for September 2020, I just put up a video. Uh, then I put up the corrections for my mistakes right after that. <laughs> and on. Uh, uh, Instagram, Omnidogs underscore vault. Thank you. You can find me at Comics God 101 on Twitter, and there's also Comics God 101 on YouTube, which is an archive of all the old videos that I used to do when I did that. Geo? You can find me saving goldfish from obliteration um, <laughs> uh, on my channel on Week in Geekdom, where I talk about anime, comics, and manga. A week in geekdom. Yay! All right, everybody, you can find me, uh, Gabe Loves 90s Comics, on Instagram. And don't forget to follow Omni Bros Live also on Instagram. Real quick. Peace and love. Shout out to IST. Oh, IST, our 50% yeah. off uh, collected editions, 2% loyalty discounts. We just gave away their $50 gift card. Spend fifty dollars or more on books, you get free shipping, which is going to be important this week because you're ordering like seven Omnis alone. Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging in StockTrades.com. Nice, good job. All right, and uh, that is that, everybody. Thanks again, everybody, for showing up. All. 225 plus people we had in the chat today. You're amazing. Congratulations to Sean. Oh, one last little bit of information. God damn it. Give me a second. Uh, Patreon. Got to give a shout out to our Patreon people here at the end of the show. Uh, don't want to forget them. Joe Guzman. Uh, we got Parker. We got Nathan. We got Drunk T, we got Steven Simpson, Mason Grimes, Jamie Galvin, Remco, Ian, A. Martin, Zach Blake, Martin Pilgrim, Justin Page, David Codd, uh, Chess Rockwell, Brian Long, Gregory Perlman, Leonardo Braso, and Greg Sandberg. 
So big special shout out to all of those guys on our Patreon. You could be a part of it as well for five bucks and be a part of the campfire tier or just throw up a couple bucks in the tip jar. And with that, I think everybody's had a night. So peace and love, peace and love. Good luck tomorrow, everybody. You're going to need it.